Afternoon guys, it's James from Advanced In Car. I don't know why I keep saying that because you know who we are. We are sat in a 2009 Fiat Ducato motorhome and now we've recently done uh, another video to join all of our Alpine videos. This is the same motorhome for people that uh, have watched it and trying to catch us out. All we've done is we've taken out the Halo 9 and we've now fitted the Alpine X803. This is the 803D, but it's also the DC, which is the camper version, directly and specifically for um, these type of bigger coach-built motorhomes so that we can enter the length, the width, and the height into the sat-nav. Now, this, is, this particular model means that we do have to do some slight cutting into the dashboard to allow for the 8-inch system to sit in there. And then you've got this lovely gloss black bezel that goes around the outside. Um, for me, I really like this just purely because of the fact that you've physically got buttons to press and the screen isn't sitting out, but everybody wants the Halo 9s because of the bigger tablet style and the 9-inch display. This is the X803. So it's an 8-inch touchscreen. All the mod cons, we've still got the USB and the HDMI socket down here, which Tim will focus on in a minute. Tim's uploaded the special Super Duper Bessicar combined Alpine splash screen. Anybody that comes to us to have an Alpine installed will always do a custom splash screen within reason. If you've got a business, a logo, whatever else, we can generally do that. So there we go. Nice button presses. So we go straight into the uh, dab side of things. You can store all your stations and quick access to them. You can even have a favourites. You've got quick access to your telephone um, settings and volume and other bits and pieces. You've then got uh, split screen for audio and navigation, or if you hit it again, you've got full screen for the navigation. Now, like the INE F904, this X03 has the TomTom Tom new mapping in there. It's three years free updates from point of installation. If we fit it all, you get two years warranty for peace of mind because we're an excellence dealer. So just to run through some of the other settings, and again, if you've seen this stuff before, great. The, the, the actual software platform on the Alpine is all very, very similar, and that's how it makes it simple to use um, in most parts because of the fact that they're all very similar units. You can see up on the top left hand corner that my Bluetooth, my phone is connected. Here we've got the clock here in 24 hours and you can just touch the screen here and go in and you can set all your settings up. So postcode uh, and go in and you can even do a free form search. So if you are somewhere and you want to go places nearby, you can go in and select where you want to go. So if you want somewhere to park, he knows exactly where you are and it's going to give you all the car parks. Now, go back out of here and go into the sat-nav menu. We don't normally go into here, but in here as well, you've also got your GPS information. So we're currently picking up 10 to 11 GPS and 6 GLONASS. We are parked in front of a building at the moment and the GPS is hidden behind a panel. So you would expect to get slightly better out on the road. Okay, let's go back out of there. Now the main menu button is physically a button on this one. So you've got your FM radio, you've got your DAB, you've got your Bluetooth audio. Now at the moment, my phone is connected and that's what's playing on the screen. Uh, and again, you've got control from your phone. So you always check that your phone volume is turned up and then you've got full control over your Alpine system. Again, a wireless way to listen to music and it's what everybody wants in terms of connectivity. So we've got the USB plugged in, we've got the HDMI plugged in and then you can scroll back out of there. So we've done DAB, we've done FM, we've done the Bluetooth audio and we can go into Bluetooth. So you've got things like recents, contacts and your keypad. So once you go in, lovely big keypad here so that you can just dial a number. It doesn't have any lag, which is quite nice. And you can then just call like so. Okay, ending a call. Thank you for calling advanced in car technology. Like so. You've got your volume you for on. your caller Detect and your call. microphone and we can end. If you've got this fitted into the appropriate vehicle that can integrate, you'll get certain displays on your um, on your instrument cluster, but it doesn't do that on the Fiat Ducato motorhome side of things. 
So let's just go into the menu quickly. If I had a reversing camera, and the reason why I don't have one linked up to this one at the moment is because uh, out of the view of the camera, you can't see, but I've got a 10.1 inch HDMI screen up on the dash here with a full 360 system on there. But if I had a camera in here, let's just select a rear camera and go back. We've already got it on interrupt. So if I was to do that and pop it into reverse, your image would then be displayed on your screen here and all of these Alpine guides can be adjustable and turn. You can put the hitch guide on, which is a little moving screen for tow hitching of caravans and trailers. And then also you can move the caution from top to bottom uh, and that is just the reversing camera and you pop it out of there and that then times out back to the main screen. So let's just quickly run through some of the basic functions. I'm gonna plug the USB in. Now we have fitted the Alpine accessory, which is the dual, uh, well not dual, but it's uh, dual in terms of integration. You've got USB and HDMI um, socket, nice and flush. So you can use genuine lead, which we always recommend, but this is one, let me just plug in. So, Plug your phone in. As soon as we go back to the menu, automatically flicks over. We've got right hand side or steering wheel, right hand drive fitted, and you can go in and select what you want to select. So let's say these are my shortcut, shortcut menus. You've got uh, Google Earth, nice satellite view of your maps, which is always handy. You've also then got Waze depending on what you fancy using for up to the minute. And because you've got the SIM card in here, this is not outdated information. It's right now, it'll be live traffic information as well. Okay, so we've got Spotify. Go in there, listen to your music. There you go. That's what we were playing or listening to before um, on Bluetooth streaming, wireless. It's now plugged in, so it's charging my phone and playing and gives you your album artwork. And then you've got a few other things. So you've got uh, WhatsApp, phone you can make and receive all your phone calls and stuff in here like so which is even better because it's all um it's all com combined so let's go back out of there you've also got the main um alpine app as well now if we unplug that or leave that rather plugged in what we can do now is i will plug in the hdmi lead this is a ridiculously long lead so apologies for that i'm going to now plug that into um the genuine apple AV video selector. I'm going to unplug it from the phone and I'm now going to plug that. So we've got the lightning lead, the HDMI lead, and we should be able to plug that in there. The phone again will still start charging. You get your main display up on here. Ignore the um, thing, but we have had an HDMI symbol pop up. So we click on here. And that will then mirror image whatever is on your phone. So for instance, if I wanted to here, we could go to YouTube and press a video that we were playing earlier. And there you go, there's the video. So there's my phone, there's the video. It's a YouTube video. We've then got volume as well. Uh, let's just press play on here. That comes out over the main sound system as well. Really nice, good quality stuff. And you can sit there when you're bored and watch all of our videos off our YouTube channel, which is why you're watching this one now. Okay, that's my voice in the background. Okay, so that's the other, the other main feature that we love about these is the fact that if you're not plugging your phone in, is that you can use the HDMI and the USB Get yourself a streaming stick. So let's say Amazon Fire Stick or a Google Chromecast. Log into your Amazon Prime or your Netflix. If you're parked up somewhere, you can watch a film. You can watch one of your podcasts. You can watch whatever you want, ITV player, BBC player, all of them, and just stream it off the data on your phone because we've all got plenty of data these days. Now, um, Tim's bought in his Android device. Uh, I do say this on a regular basis, I need to stop, but we don't really use um, Android here. Um, but I'm just going to show you um, the Android device working. So what I do, let's just unlock this. Oh. Okay, so let's just unlock this. hope no one's watching that. And continue. Once the Alpine is ready, 
Uh, what we're going to do is it'll load up on the screen here. Once it's loaded up, you've got the Android Auto symbol will appear. And we can then put the tablet or the Android phone to one side. Hopefully you're not picking up on the camera lens the touchscreen because this is the problem. We've all got oil in our bodies and the touchscreen does get grubby. So always have a little case a screen um, cleaner handy or a cloth. So main menu button on the Android Auto. Got Spotify, Waze, Play Store. You've got your music. You've got your phone. Uh, you've got loads of other bits and pieces in there at all uh, as well, which is quite handy. So let's go in and press Spotify. I need to be logged in. Okay, well, that doesn't help. But let's go and click into Waze or we'll do Google. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so again, um, your phone um, your, or your device can be then stowed away safely. And you've got all the mod cons of using Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or you can choose to use the built-in TomTom Nav. Change the color of the buttons, the display, and all the bits and pieces. So this is the overview of the X803DC. So it is the normal X803D, but this one has the camper software in there as well. I'll tell you what, we didn't do that last time. Let's just quickly show you how to get there. So I'm gonna get rid of the Android Auto. I'm gonna go back to the navigation. And in navigation, we're going to go up to the menu. And we're gonna to go to setup, uh, route preferences, and we're then going to go to vehicle, which is the motorhome. So you select, I've already set this up as an um, uh, edited vehicle because it's the motorhome. And I've selected a bus because it is pretty big. So you go in, you select motorhome if you have already set this up or you can select car. You hit more, you hit edit um, and then you hit more again, uh, hit edit rather. And then on this right hand side, you've got these three lines and you can go in and you can modify your vehicle. Um, so I don't want a speed um, warning coming up and I'm not really bothered about fuel consumption. I've got a diesel and you can have extended settings. So down through here, we've then um, inputted the length, the width and the height of the vehicle. And also you can add a trailer, which is quite cool because people that have dollies with cars on and trailers for boats and other bits and pieces. But the Alpine allows you to do that. And that's what makes it camper specific for this length of vehicle. Right, so if you've got a vehicle like this, if your dashboard looks similar to this and you want to get rid of that horrible bog standard variant of your factory radio and you want something that's really intuitive, then please get in touch with us. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching our videos. And the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. Um, have a great day and uh, keep on watching.